Some say the world will end in fire. Some say in ice. Honestly, both would be a pretty terrible way to go. But with everything happening in the States right now and the abnormal freezing cold weather that they are facing, a lot of people are getting concerned. What if we have a global deep freeze and the whole world just froze over? Well, let's take a look at this possibility in today's video. Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. I'm your host, Lindsay Ivan. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button because it really helps us out. The deep freeze occurring across the Midwest and the Northeast is quite concerning. They are facing the coldest temperatures ever in the history for that area. Millions are powerless. Grocery stores are being emptied in a panic as everyone tries to stay warm and survive. It's bad enough that the US is going through this, but imagine if this happened to the entire world. First off, it would be a fight to survive. In particular, countries and residents that have never experienced cold weather before would suffer the most. They wouldn't have snowsuits or big warm parkas. If it's always hot year round where they live, they wouldn't need those things. But that's bad news when it comes to this deep freeze they wouldn't be able to survive. The cold would simply be too much for them. As a result, millions would lose their lives. Other countries might try to help out by sending them over winter necessities, but in the end, it would be hard to ship this to them. I mean, oceans would be completely frozen over. How can we ship these items to them when the ships would be stuck in ice? Not only that, but their houses aren't built for extreme cold weather conditions. In the Antarctic, buildings are built raised above the ground, so wind and snow blow under them, and they have thick insulated walls, floors, windows, and ceilings. Also, their doors are super insulated and sealed so that cold air doesn't get in. I mean, unless you live in a freezing cold place like the Antarctic, then your home wouldn't be ready for this weather. It would be hard to then keep your house warm. Then we have the mass panic. As we already know by now, whenever there's an emergency, people panic shop. Grocery stores get cleared out. Same with fast food restaurants. People stock up on everything. Now imagine that happening worldwide. Grocery stores would be cleared out completely. Soon enough, we would be out of fresh food. Which brings me to my next point. It's super hard to grow fruits and vegetables in a freezing cold climate. I mean, take Antarctica for example. They don't have access to fresh fruits and veggies, so they get it shipped to them. But shipping food or items like I mentioned before would be out of the picture. Once countries use up their fresh produce, that's it. They could try to grow more and take care of their crops, but it's just impossible for them to survive in the cold. So say goodbye to yummy fruits and veggies. But here's some good news. Scientists are currently developing these greenhouses for a potential Mars colony. Okay, ignore the whole Mars part, but this greenhouse is being tested in the Antarctic to see if they'll still be able to grow produce in the freezing cold. If this works, then countries could use these greenhouses to still make food. It would just take longer and wouldn't be able to produce as much. Again, the struggle would be getting out these greenhouses to every town, city, and country. Then we have the fact that we would mainly be living off of seafood, but with everyone in the world eating seafood, overfishing is going to become a problem. We run the risk of lowering the fish population. There won't be enough fish in the world to feed billions of people multiple times a day. It's just not sustainable. So that's definitely going to be a struggle, getting access to food. And we all know you can't survive without it. Now let's talk about the living conditions. Everyone would be confined to their homes, huddling together for warmth. Billions of people would face power outages, which means no heat, no electricity. Those with gas stoves or fireplaces would be lucky. But again, the supply of gas would soon run out as well with people overbuying. But hey, if we don't experience power outages, then we would be able to survive with ease. Let's take a look at Alert None of It. This town is so cold that it could freeze your eyeballs, skin, and muscles within minutes of having them exposed. Alert has a polar climate. July is the warmest month with an average temperature of three degrees Celsius which is 38 degrees Fahrenheit. February is said to be the coldest month with negative 33 degrees Celsius, which is negative 27 degrees Fahrenheit. The lowest it has ever gotten there is negative 50 degrees Celsius. 
As a result of the cold weather, not a lot of people live there. It's mainly home to workers. But if they can survive the brutal cold with running heat and electricity, so can we. But again, without power, that's when things get tricky. Pipes will freeze and burst, same with toilets. The water in the toilet will freeze and pipes will burst. Then people would be stuck without running water and no place to do their business. But that's nothing when we think of people that are desperately reliant on electricity to power their oxygen machines or other medical devices. The most important thing would be keeping hospitals fully functional and with electricity. There are millions of people on oxygen machines and other devices. Without power, they simply wouldn't be able to survive. That's what America is facing currently as well with this deep freeze. Thousands of people rely on regular treatments such as dialysis in order to survive. As stated by the Houston Chronicle, and I quote, when patients can't get dialysis, their bodies swell with fluid and toxins fill their blood. Breathing gets more difficult, and as the condition worsens, it can make the patient's heart stop. It's quite sad the negative effects that this deep freeze would have, especially on the vulnerable. So let's hope that our world never freezes over. It's too much of a drastic change. It would take us quite some time before being able to adapt to this weather. By then, it might be too late for us. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Speaking of comments, let's move right along to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video, top 10 newest SCPs in 2021. Fox Jake commented, what if half of humanity were SCPs, but we didn't know it? Probably, I believe it. I could be an SCP. Blaine commented, LOL, I'm eating a tamale for lunch while watching the video. It's currently 4.40 PM. And only people that watched the video would know what that reference was to, because a finger may appear in that tamale. And now it just sounds weird that I said it out loud. But there was a whole SCP tamale finger thing. Quite gross, check it out. Mr. Deadly Matt commented, where do people hear about this SCP stuff? From anyone? No, from the SCP Foundation. I'm a member, they give me access to all the information, so that's how. All right, guys, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Life's Biggest Questions for more thought-provoking videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and stay curious, YouTube.